data uh, in the region. He was the second last. I'm the I'm the I'm the last one. So he's just before me in the family of four brothers. Um, he came. He was that kind of a brother, I mean a person in the family that anything you can go to him and ask, he won't give you an answer right away. He will take time to think about it. But when he tells you what to do, or he suggests to you what you could do, you will then know that this has been for true. To an extent that you actually get to see that in this um, innocent person that is in front of you, there's actually some thought that is there. He was that kind of a brother to me. I came to Cape Town because I wanted to be close to him. Because I valued him that much. Like I'm saying, he was more of a father. He's a father to two kids, young. And I'm thinking now, I have to play his role. And I can't. I simply can't. Because there's no better person to be doing that than doing that. So, mine is to just do what I can. So I know most people I mean who know knew him are feel the loss. The police feel the loss, but what is more important to remember is that he died serving. He was true to whatever he stand, he stood up for and one of the things I always admired about him is that he, he never looks back. He took an oath to serve, and I think that meant too much to him.